you know, like when somebody says, you know, really um, with great conviction that they hate a thing, sometimes it means that they like it. <laughs> People are weird like that, anyway. So we can come up here, and I don't know why, but, you know, here we are. But the fuel was back in there, though, like back, back inside here. Can we, oh, we can move this. And then can we open this or can we open this? Alright, the fuel is there. But what do we need the fuel for and what do we carry it in? Strangers not allowed on this works. Inquiries to be made at the lodge. Okay. And this is the corridor we came through earlier. We can almost escape. I can't open that. We can almost escape, guys. Come on. We're just gonna reach up, pull ourselves up, and then just escape over the rooftops. That's what a sane person would do. An insane person would continue to try to fix the machine. Boycott! Ban swine stench from our streets. Munda's factory must close. Okay. Can we? No, we can't read any more of that. Alright, so people aren't happy with the giant pig factory. Or some people aren't. Can we open this? No, it's like... It's swinging in the breeze slightly, but we can't open it. Alright. Fine. Uh, what's going on over there? Boycott, ban the swine stench. I don't know, I don't know if maybe it smells bad, but you know, it's bacon. Just imagine the bacon. Just imagine how much bacon there will be in our city if we just kill more pigs. Oh no, more pages. Why would there be a page on the step on the side of the truck? Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply would not perform its designated function. These cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stink stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I, enough for a night and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the blessed graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. Okay, well, it's telling us about gas tanks and trucks. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Pictures at the top, you say? Okay, I see. Oh, I see. We need to move the truck. Move the truck to get into the... into the church. I see you. I see your puzzles, even though a normal person would just, you know, climb over this right here. But I'm not a normal person, because I can't climb anything. Alright, let's go find a bucket or something. I mean, basically this whole time we've just been looking for a bucket to put the fuel in. There's probably one in there. Let me just see what's behind here first. Lamps that do nothing. More factories in the distance. Oh, there's another truck there. Interesting. Uh, doors we can't touch. Okay, let's go inside here. Find a bucket. I can't move the I can't move the barrels, gonna move can okay, move that kind of. Alright, there we go. Our lantern is flashing again. That means there's creepy things. Let's see. Chemical transportation, danger, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Oh here's, here's a box. Wait a minute. Because okay, there's a box. There are 
Is it a cage? There are things on the conveyor belt. Don't know what they are. But we're there, alright, on the map. What if I press these buttons? You can't press the buttons, alright. Well, let's take the box. And then go back to the fuel. Grab the fuel, come back to the truck. It's not really a puzzle, is it? You're just kind of walking forward and walking back. It's not really clever gameplay. Anyway, so there you go. And pump. Ah, uh, how much fuel does this thing carry? Oh, check it out. There's a thing walking around up there. Cool. Well, doesn't really um, help us anyway. Am I? Is that thing gonna chase us? Is that what's gonna happen? Alright, we've got that. Oh, it's gonna chase us. Hold on, let me just walk this way and get ourselves killed first. Alright, so it's not gonna... Okay, we can't actually go through there. I think it's gonna chase us. Remember, we still haven't found a monster to get ourselves killed yet. So the first thing we find, and we're gonna run towards it, right? Is it coming? No, it's not coming this way. Alright, well, we're going out then. If it's not gonna come for us, we will continue walking around Doing random things. Yeah, okay, here's the truck. Was that there earlier? It wasn't, was it? That's new. Alright. That pig head was not there earlier. Can I jump up here? How do I start the truck? Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, how do I start the truck? Guys, guys, help. Oh, crank this. Did that? Was that it? That's it? We moved the truck like three inches. We did all that. The move the truck. Okay, well, there you go. No, we didn't even start the truck. We just turned the crank and it moved three inches, literally. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course we can take it home. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Well, we, I don't know. I mean, you probably shouldn't steal eggs from birds. I mean, it's like the kids. You're stealing kids? What is that? Those are some interesting symbols. Uh, we can't open those. And the church is mostly underground, apparently. Let me just look at these headstones a little more. Weird noises. There is a dead pig buried here. Funny. Um, there's nothing over there, right? More pigs? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is a person. That's a pig. That's a half pig, half person. It's one of these things that's been chasing us, isn't it? This thing here. Ah, alright, well. Eventually we'll meet it. Eventually we're gonna find one of these things and won't get myself killed. But it's taking a long time for us to get there, isn't it? Alright, is there anything back here? No. No, no. And, you know, as I said, any sane person would just leave, climb the fence and leave. Actually, can I do that? Can I jump on a gravestone and... Kind of... Ooh, wait a minute. So I'm on a gravestone. Maybe I can leave. Let me just try and... No, it's too far away. That's gonna get on the tree somehow. Nope, nope, doesn't, no I can't do that, never mind. 
All right, let's go into the church and see what amazing thing we'll find inside. There's the factory there. What did I just glitch on? These stairs. That's weird. It's weird geometry there. Alright, and there's another area. Livestock and Bibles. Higgledy piggledy blue china eyes. My love comes to see me in the fairest disguise. We skips and we totters. I seize her hind trotters and enter her porcelain thighs. Yes. You do that with the pig, my friend. Enter those porcelain thighs. I'm sure it's gonna be a good time for you. Um, alright, well, more corridors. This time, slightly gothic corridors. Uh, that's already open. So is this. Alright, there's upstairs. There's shovels. What's in here? More paper for us to read? November 23rd, 1899, twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Um, okay. So we told the father the secret, but he's not cooperative, I'm guessing, and then we killed him too. I assume that's what that means. I just really want to know what all these people have been turned into. I mean, if we've killed all these people and we've turned them all into these pig monster things, then there should be a lot of them running around. We've only really seen one at a time. Oh, it's a mask! It's a mask! Interesting. The pig head is a mask. Uh, okay, we go upstairs. Let's go this way first. So... Vaguely gothic cathedral. Or like a church. It's not really a cathedral, is it? It's more like a little church. Really big red curtains as well. Uh, that vault is a little bit too shallow. And here's the main doors that we can't open. Ooh. Your face shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Yes. We don't need pigs for gods, we need magnets. Worship magnets. Magnets, how do they work? Alright. Let's open these doors and is that a that's a side thing? What is this? Oh cool. It's a church organ. Well, play that organ, whoever it is. I'm gonna explore here. Books and crosses and plants? Mushrooms? Oh it's a candle. Wait a minute, why can I take this? Do I need this? I probably do. Oh, twin, twin candles lighting the the thing. Okay, that that was the puzzle, wasn't it? We need to find candles. I'm gonna drop that for a moment and read this. Father Jeremiah's journal, October the first, eighteen ninety nine. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. 
Now drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that man distri- distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He would not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fears to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. All right. So we came back a changed man from Mexico, and we are giving bacon to the poor. Bacon for everyone. I swear I opened this door just now. Alright, come on. Candle, door, candle. So we need to light candles from the altar, I think. Let me just walk up there and see if I can put this somewhere reasonable. What on earth? Oh, there's a bear. But we will not allow them to work in our factories because we have a specially trained workforce. Fascinating. 